Bionic Dance is filmed in front of a live studio audience. I thought we'd go over a few issues raised by various comments I've received. Today, is it liberating to believe in atheism? I'm probably going to get a lot of angry comments on this video because once again we're talking about atheism directly, and that means bringing up the actual definition of atheism. A sore spot for many people, apparently. Gee, I wonder why. Perhaps it's because it's the only word we've got that even slightly describes our position accurately. But silly us, why would we ever get cranky about that? Let's do this. Bionic Dances YouTube Channel! Greetings fellow space travelers, Bionic Dance here. As much as the teaser suggests it, this video is not really about the definition of atheism. The arguments made don't really require it. Instead, it's a comparison of worldviews, or more specifically, of life views. Atheism is the belief that no god exists. Therefore, in order to be an atheist, you must do more than just doubt. Theists doubt. You must actually believe that claims that God exists are false. Why insist on this straw man? Atheism, as most atheists define it, doesn't even require doubt. It's just having no God belief. If the word meaning that to you isn't atheism, then tell us what word you will accept, or make one up. But at least be willing to discuss our actual position instead of assigning one to us because we're not using the word you like. Seems like a reasonable compromise. This issue came up while I was talking with a commenter who said that atheists are passionately against something, even though there's no real reward involved in it. I can't speak for other atheists, but I've said that the only reason I'm passionate against religion is because of how many people are mistreated if they don't follow the unreasonable dogma upon which most insist. If I believed a god is real, I couldn't in good conscience follow such doctrine. I'd go looking for the magic ring or flaming sword that could kill that god. If Trekkies were going around Vulcan neck-pinching Star Wars fans, I'd be telling them that Trek is only fiction too. But I don't care whether they go walking around in Trek uniforms because they're not hurting anybody when they do it. I think that's certainly right. Many old-school atheists were torn up about choosing atheism for this reason. If God doesn't exist, then there's no real purpose to life and all of our sufferings are meaningless. So this whole idea of atheism being some incredible liberation or doorway to great happiness, this is very new. And this is either a straw man, a non sequitur, or both. Or all three. I don't know anybody who says that atheism is a gateway to happiness. Nobody. I do know people who've said they feel liberated from being shit on by the church, who are free of the abuses, the imposed guilts, and the forced behaviors. And if you don't think that's freedom, you're kidding yourself. Sure, it may be that your suffering is pointless, but if it turns out that there is no God, that's going to be true no matter what religion claims. So you have to ask yourself, whether false fantasy is better than unpleasant truth. So the argument here seems to be that religion is true, or should be treated as true, because it's more fun. That argument doesn't get applied anywhere else. I've never heard anybody say that gravity isn't real because flying would be totally rad. There are two points of importance here. First, that no matter what you accomplish in this life, in a few generations the march of time and or revisionist history will eradicate all physical trace of you. Second, that no matter who or what causes our pain and suffering, the pain itself is purposeless without a higher cause to give it meaning. Nothing that any atheist has ever proposed is sufficient to give pain its meaning. Atheism therefore deprives people of any hope for their ultimate future since they don't have one. The idea seems to be that we are somehow owed a purpose, significance. The idea of tough noogies isn't one he'll accept, is it? That's the logical extrapolation from his position, that if it stinks, we can't believe it. Or we have to believe it meant something, that in the end it was for the greater good, somehow. Religion is your binky, your security blanket, isn't it? The argument isn't that religion is true. The argument is that we need religion to keep from being depressed. He needs to meet more atheists. We're not all sad sacks, you know. I'd say that most of us aren't. 
They'll die and be forgotten, and their suffering will have meant nothing unless God exists. And that's not necessarily true. If there is a God, he, she, it, or they might not give a flying fuck about any of us. Scripture may say otherwise, but scripture may also be the wishful thinking of people who needed that spiritual binky. Again, this is unfounded belief for the sake of feeling safe, secure, and significant, designed in a way that putting one's money where one's mouth is isn't possible because the hard part, believing in a God, has to be taken taken on faith. You could say that belief in atheism represents actual liberation from theism, but theism also represents liberation from atheism in exactly the same way and to the same degree. Notice he doesn't say how or why this is so. He doesn't say how atheism confines anybody in a manner that needs liberation, and certainly not in the same way or to the same degree as theism. Atheism, as he's defined it and in all other ways, doesn't contain health threats for leaving it. Atheism doesn't tell people what they can or can't wear, or what they can or can't eat. It doesn't have days when rituals must be performed. It doesn't expect guilt, confession, and penance for alleged crimes that harm nobody. It makes no demands and imposes no restrictions on someone's sex life, and certainly nobody is told that they must believe that no God exists. So what part of atheism is restrictive and requires liberation? That's all for now, so keep asking questions, and thanks for watching. Oh, go away. You smell funny. Until next time, fellow space travelers, this is Bionic Dance saying don't run on automatic. Instead, please, think. Citizens, failure to contribute will result in suspended oxygen privileges. Attention citizens, failure to contribute will result in suspended oxygen privileges. Attention citizens.